Helping Seniors TV program host Carrie Fink catches up with Nicole Hodge, the CEO and Clinic Director for Restore Life Regenerative Care. Restore Life focuses on healing pain and injury associated with aging and disease. I'm Carrie Fink with Helping Seniors TV, and we're having a great day. We're on location at the Mega Senior Expo. This is taking place at the Melbourne Auditorium in Melbourne, Florida. And what a great show this is. There have been hundreds and hundreds of people through the doors today visiting uh, dozens and dozens. I think it's like something like 70 or 80 different vendors and uh, tables of information that are available here today. So we have seniors from all over the county who have been getting good information on so many different topics. There's some amazing things going on. There's been entertainment on the stage. They've had uh, a senior fashion show. It's just amazing the things that are out here and resources available to seniors. And as part of Helping Seniors Mission, we're always out and meeting the public and doing the best we can to help seniors develop an aging plan that is correct for their own particular circumstances. And so with that uh, as kind of a backdrop, we're very blessed to have some really good people here with some good information and good answers for seniors for situations that they're trying to resolve. And, and we were able to pull off of the floor for just a few moments, or actually I think you came directly over from the office. So I'm here with Nicole Hajaj from Restore Life Regenerative Care, and thank you for being with us on the program on today. And before we go too far into what, what you guys do as an organization, I just want to talk about your own journey and how you came to say, this is a place that I think I can offer benefits for seniors in our area. Very good. So I have a pretty extensive background in the clinical side and in the side of new technology and medicine. So I worked a lot with venture capital companies and looking at new technologies and what I realized quite early on is that there's a lot happening that we don't do in the U.S. as far as medical treatment. And there's a lot that's not accessed that probably should be when it comes to treating the patient for chronic pain and for other conditions, uh, many of which have no treatment for currently. So I looked at that and ways that we could address that and restore a life regenerative care. It almost is our mission statement, though it's quite a mouthful. We are looking to restore someone's quality of life through regeneration. So the goal is to treat the body itself, not just the symptoms, not just put a Band-Aid on the source of pain to help the body heal itself. You know, it's interesting. We do our television shows. We broadcast on uh, Space Coast Government Television 18 times a week. So there, uh, there is a uh, broadcast component of what we do, but we also put our shows on a Helping Seniors YouTube channel. So people are finding them later and then sharing them and saying, here's a good program. And I was just thinking, as you were saying that, one of the one of the most often searched topics that we see pop up as, as far as the videos viewed is people are trying to work through pain issues. And what I'm gathering is this is one of the reasons why somebody would give you a call because you are uh, kind of at a forefront of technologies that might help in that, in that respect. I, I would say so for sure. What w our goal is, pain is an alert from the body. It is our bodies telling us that there's something wrong. It is our bodies trying to heal and maybe there, for some reason, we're not able to heal on our own. So our goal is to help the body do what it was born or made to do, which is heal itself. And you can do that with regenerative therapy. So our goal is not just to cover up the pain, it's not just to get rid of the symptoms because ultimately you're doing more damage by doing that. We want to help treat the actual condition. You know, and I was looking at some of the things that you guys list as the different types of treatments and things that you do. You really have like a comprehensive approach to it. So walk me through if somebody was watching this TV program and all they know is, wow, I'm dealing with a lot of pain. You know, maybe I've, I've kind of maxed out what I'm doing with pain pills, things like that. What kind of a person would call your office and what would they, what would, who would you look for that say, this is the kind of person I believe we can help and how would they access what you guys could do to help them? So we really call ourselves treatment of chronic pain. Though we are not pain management, we still fall into the category because it's a very broad scope. We don't just treat orthopedics or skeletal mm -hmm. issues. We treat neuromuscular issues like fibromyalgia, something that really didn't have many answers before. We treat neurological conditions like trigeminal neuralgia. 
this really, it's, it's a very broad scope of chronic pain. So that's why you see that list and many of them are very different from things you would see in a general orthopedic mm -hmm. office or something, though we do treat the joints as well. Mm -hmm. So really, if someone is suffering from chronic pain or has a very recent acute injury, they would find themselves in our office and it usually is of great benefit. Okay. So like if somebody was, so they would be a person that's saying, I'm tired of living with a pain situation. Let me give a call. What would be the process they go through? They come in, would sit down, would have some sort of an evaluation, get an understanding of you guys would get an understanding of their situation and then help them develop a program that might give them the relief that they're trying to go go with. Absolutely. So we offer a free consultation in the office where somebody can come in, they can sit down, we will go through their history, we will go through previous surgeries, treatments, or medications they've used for said condition, and then we will determine, number one, if we can help them. Uh, that's first. Once we've determined if we can help them, we give them an idea of how successful we think they may be, if it would be a one-time thing, if they would require follow-up treatments, and they have a basic roadmap of how they would want to proceed. We give them all the details then, uh, and, and then they become patients usually. Our patients, it's an exciting time in medicine for us because we have a third coming, a third going, and a third that stay with us. Wow. So we're not seeing the influx of patients that has to come in over and over right. repeatedly for treatment. And, and we like to see that. Although we love our patients, we like to see them go. <laughs> I, I, get, I get that. I get that totally. So the question would be, if somebody isn't really familiar with what you guys do, they might ask the question, is this surgery? What am I, what am I calling you guys? Is it going, what are the things that I would expect for you to to talk to me about if if I'm coming in with a pain with a, with saying this is my problem my shoulder or or a fibromyalgia case what are the things that you might be looking at as possible ways to assist them so we offer quite a few different treatment regimens and of course it depends on the right. condition we're dealing with what we try to do is establish a combination therapy to treat what, whatever we're treating, whether it be neurological or orthopedic or musculoskeletal, we try to adapt to what the problem is. So it may be different for everyone. We do use the most or the least invasive, the most non-invasive sure. techniques uh, that are available. So about as deep as it may get or as invasive as it may get is an injection. We don't do any surgeries. We're not cutting anyone open. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. Uh, uh, with some conditions, we may be able to even avoid injections altogether and use a combination of laser treatment, myofascial release. We do a lot in the way of that for fibromyalgia or something okay. like that. I was going to ask you that because, again, reading the list of the things, many of them are like, they're, they're very advanced for me. But as I understood, you have a lot of different tools at your disposal to assist somebody. It's not just like one size fits everybody that comes in. That's exactly right. For example, with somebody suffering from migraines or from facial pain, we may use a combination of a SPG block that targets the nerve in the face along with laser treatment. With somebody that is looking to avoid joint replacement, we may use stem cells and or platelets and laser treatment. So we combine a therapy that is targeted towards their specific problem. We like to customize our treatment as opposed to just use a template for each person. Right. And then too, it sounds to me like you're really staying on top of kind of cutting edge technologies that maybe even 10 years ago or 20 years ago weren't available as as ways to do things. Absolutely, I would say 90% of what we do wasn't available to the general public even 10 years ago. So we are changing and growing constantly and regenerative medicine in general, a lot of people don't even know what that is, but yes. regenerative medicine as a field of science is changing so quickly it's hard to keep up with but we do our best with continuing educations and training sessions so if somebody was thinking like wow this sounds I, i'd like to get up to speed i'd like to see what options are available to me i would really like to get out of pain what would, what would they do? What would be the process that you would want them to take? So we have several options because obviously people pursue things at different levels of comfort. We have, our website is very comprehensive. It helps people. It has a lot of videos. 
We offer weekly lunch and learn seminars. Oh, wow. So that's nice for people that really want to learn a lot about the science before sure. they go out and dig in. They're not quite comfortable coming into the office yes. uh, before they w w learn more about it. So we do offer the weekly lunch and learn seminars. Okay. Those are advertised on our webpage as well. Okay. Uh, we also have complimentary consultations in our office, so you can call the office directly and book one of those consultations. So, And that might be a good way to work your way in. First, visit your website, which is? www.restoralife.com. Okay. And then maybe avail yourself of some of the materials that are there, get a sense for that, then perhaps maybe attend one of the Lunch and Learns. And then probably with that, you're like, okay, I'm ready to, to, to get serious about seeing what I can do here. It's true. And many people find themselves coming to the Lunch and Learn because they want to enjoy that lunch. Sure. And then they realize that this is something that would be very beneficial for them. And it's Absolutely. within their ability to do so. They come in, they have a complimentary consultation at that point. Right. And then they become a patient usually very quickly. Yeah. And I imagine you guys have many, many good success stories of people who have who, who you've worked with and really made a serious impact in, in how, how well they feel afterwards. We are quite proud. We have a lot of those testimonials on our webpage. Those are actual patients. Uh, we have a lot of them in our office that are written firsthand from the patients and their experience and their story. Uh, and, and some of them are very scary, sad stories about how they were their chronic pain and their journey with chronic pain before sure. they came to see us and then to see them on the other side of that is a wonderful thing. That part must be very fulfilling it for is, you I would for think. Sure. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, we just probably have like a minute left, but I was going to say, and that must be part of the reason for being here at the Mega Senior Expo is this gives you an opportunity to introduce to people who may not even know that this is something that could be revolutionary for them to kind of get a sense like, hey, guys, you may have not understood there's another option out here. Well, you're right about that. And what we're finding is that regenerative care, a lot of people have the misunderstanding that sure. that is directed towards athletes or people of very, okay. very young age that are looking to just be um, back in their sports career faster, back on the field sooner. And that's actually not the case. What we find is our practice is full of patients who are retired. They do not want to have chronic pain. They want to enjoy their life and we're able to help them achieve that in most cases. So we, we want to get that word out. We want seniors to know that this is an option for them. That's good. Well, thank you for taking time to join us on today. It sounds like there is a reason for, for hopefulness and people should really take a close look and see what, what resources and information might be available there on the website. And so thanks for taking time out of the, out of the day today to be with us on Helping Seniors TV. Thank you very much. Thanks. It was a pleasure.